I actually didn't think there was a point in making this video because it's now literally February, but I am a hypochondriac and I did convince myself that I'm dying. So, um, it's probably not the case, at least not right now, but just in case it is, all the more reason to do all these things I want to do, right? Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel like chemistry. Hi, my name is Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Anyway, today I'm going to share with you the vision board I made for 2024. Um, if you're not familiar with the concept, a vision board is basically a board where you put a bunch of pictures of things to represent your goals for the year, things you want to manifest, um, and I don't know who invented the concept, but I first heard about it from Amber Scholl, and she is the one who loved it. I've done it for the past two or something years, but I don't think I've ever publicly shared them, and uh, I also haven't accomplished anything, so maybe by sharing this year's, I'll be able to meet some goals, at least. Now, I'm going to show you my vision board here. You can also see it on my Twitter. Have a look. It's my pinned tweet. Or X. It's Twitter. You can change the name, but it will always be Twitter. That's your mom. Anyway. So, the focus, um, or the first thing you do when creating a vision board is find a central quote. Something that you really resonates with you, that you believe in, and want to represent your year. Um, so my central quote is, the best you comes after the hardest time. And I chose that because I've been really struggling in every way. Um, so I want this year to be overcoming obstacles, basically, and getting out on the other end stronger and better in every way possible, health-wise, mentally, financially, physically, career, all of that. So yeah, that is my central quote, and I, I think it's well, I think it's beautiful, and I, I do hope it sets the, the whole basis for me this year. I'm going to go posting the little images that I put on my vision board here individually, so you can see them more clearly, and that way I can explain what they mean here. Everyone wants money. I want money. I need money. I am broke. I am, like most of America, one paycheck away from being homeless, basically. And I think I'm closer than I'd like to be. So, yeah, money. And then, also, because of money, 100% debt free. I would like to be 100% debt free. I don't know if I'll accomplish that this year, but I would like to get as close as possible. I almost got close last year, and then life happened. So, so yeah. Um, I don't want to be in debt. I don't like being in debt. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty self explanatory, I think. This is a PE. I went online and I found like a a GED diploma simulator thing, so that way I could like kind of envision it more visually um, because I am a high school dropout. I came to Uruguay when I was 15 after I finished my freshman year and I went to school here for a year but then I started working and so I really want to get my GED and then maybe I can go to college someday if I want, I'm not sure. I used to want to definitely go. But now I'm not so sure. Um, so yeah, this is what my GED represents. This is a picture of a girl driving an Audi. Um, and that is because I also want to get my driver's license. I've never driven in my life. Um, I've never had lessons. And if I'm going to get in Uruguay, I have to actually take lessons. It's like legally required or something. But, uh, yeah, I would like to get my license if I had. And, uh, yeah. I, I feel like I need to at least know how to drive, even if I don't like it. 
but then again, I don't know because I've never driven. This is a little sticker, I guess. And it says, your anxiety is a lying hook. And I hope that's true because I have really bad anxiety. And I, uh, I'm hoping to get back into therapy this year. And also kind of I'm hoping to get medicated for my anxiety because it is really bad. Really bad. Like I have anxiety attacks all the time. And I thought getting a, another puppy would help that. Uh, it's kind of made it worse because I'm afraid that her, like, you know, she eats rocks. Well, she doesn't eat them. She chews them and things like that. And, uh, yeah, so. <laughs> but I love her. I love both my dogs. Which brings me to my next thing, which is this little circle. This is called the Mighty Hearts Project. And what this is, it is a non-profit, I think, that helps people um, in helping their dogs to get surgery for a condition called mitral valve disease. Mitral valve disease is a disease that is common in dogs. It's, um, it affects their, the mitral valves of their heart. And so they degenerate and it's very treatable in humans, but in dogs not so much. And it's a limited, um, only a few clinics in the world do it. In Japan, the UK, and now they're starting in Colorado and Florida. And it's very expensive regardless of where it happens. And I, my oldest dog, Foka, she has my gloves. I don't know if she's a candidate, but I've been talking to the cardiologist to see if they can get in touch with Jasmine Clinic, which is the one in Japan, and I want, if she is a candidate, and if she meets all the criteria and it's not too stressful for her, I want to take her there for the surgery, because they have the most experience with the surgery, and they have a high success rate, like 90% or 95%, something like that. And uh, I've also read really good reviews, and I'm part of the Facebook community for this project disease thing. And so I also learn a lot from being in there. This little circle that I have outside of the Mighty Hearts Project Circle, just because they're circles, um, is reduce, reuse, recycle, replenish, and restore. I want to be more green this year. I've been trying to recycle plastic more. Um, but there are some things I can't because the, the recycling bin near us only is a hole like this big. So, like, I buy a gallons of water that are like this big and I can't even recycle that and that's annoying and frustrating. Um, and I try not to throw out like old clothes, ripped clothes, like I either use them around the house or I try and transform them or use them as rags. I'm not very good at it, but I think it's the effort that counts, especially considering I'm not responsible for global warming. But I want to do my part to try and make it better. This it says wish crossed out and then do because I want to take more action. Because you can't actually accomplish your your dreams without putting in any of the work. And um, that's what I want to do. I want to put in the work. And hopefully by doing you know? Will it happen? I don't know. But I'll never find out if I don't do. This little image that says love with paw prints around it. Well, on the O because I love my dogs. And I want to be the best dog mom that I can. And um, I want them to have a good quality of life. So I'm working on it. Yeah. I'm trying to buy them the best food I can that I can afford, and I have to start training Roxy soon, because she's now six months, and um, yeah, so, doing the best for my dog babies. Here are just images of like social media, because I want to dedicate myself more to it, and post more consistently, and hopefully it will help my career as an actress in the world. Which brings me to this picture of the lovely Ashley Graham because, because A, she's a plus size model and B, we have the same name. 
course, there's this quote that says, consistency is more important than perfection. And it's true, because I don't post things because I think they're not the best ever, but I need to realize that they are the best I can do with what I have, both in resources and knowledge and experience. And so I think it's really important that I get that through my head and just do what I can, put my best foot forward, use my best effort with what I have, and also make things I like. So, yeah, this image of a microphone, because I also want to be more consistent with my singing. And I'm insecure about it. I hate my voice, but I've also done singing lessons for several years, so I think I should probably um, face my fears and start posting again on YouTube, even though it probably won't be good. But I used to do it when I was younger, and then in sixth grade, my classmates found out and made fun of me for it, and then I was traumatized. But it's okay. I'm ultra grown now, so I have to stop caring about other things, especially if I want to be a singer, I want to be a musician. So, this that represents movies and television and film and filming as an actress because what I am. I'm an actress and I need to also submit myself to more castings, um, including voiceover, which I'm getting into as well, so I can improve and pursue the career that I want as a performer. So, of course, there is this image of this beautiful fruit basket, I guess, and it represents that I want to eat healthier, uh, both because my diet's not great, I don't know, I do want to lose weight, but I want to just be healthier, um, improve my health, which my blood work came back, and for the most part it was decent, there are some certain things which I'm going to get double check, but other than that, I, uh, I just want to improve my diet and incorporate more foods and vegetables because I am a picky eater. And it's not like just because I don't want it, it's because some things I can only eat a certain amount and then I want to throw up for some reason, I'm not sure why. I also have stomach issues like gastritis and hypothyroidism and I suspect I have PCOS, but I'm not sure and I'm getting tested for a bunch of things. But yeah. Um, and then of course with the better diet, also I want to exercise more. This is why I have this picture of a plus size woman doing yoga. I don't know if I'm into yoga or if I'd be into yoga, but just any form of exercise um, that I can do like 30 minutes to an hour a day. Because it makes me feel good when I do it. Just like struggle to start doing it. Like I'd rather just lay in bed and watch videos. Which isn't good, but you know. Um, like I started doing the uh, martial fitness and that's fun. It's really nice. And then of course the background is this cute little background with a bunch of paw prints because my life revolves around my dogs. So yeah. And luckily I work from home. Um, and I have the time to dedicate to them and spend time with them and not leave them alone and I'm really thankful for that. So, yeah. So that is everything I have on my vision board for 2024. Let me know if you made a vision board or if you manifest your yearly goals in another way or if you don't believe in New Year's resolutions. Okay? Uh, leave a comment below or tweet me or message me on Instagram. Um, if you can and would like to I would appreciate it. And if not, I hope you have a lovely day. Bye. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry.